what's up style fam it is tea back to spill the tea on part two of my promised coat haul and if you haven't seen part one make sure to hit up the link in the description box below because I will leave that for you and uh, you know I had to hit up Zara for that fall winter fashion because Zara has some really amazing coats boots sweaters I mean they're very fashion forward and their quality is great I'm not gonna say too much about their quality and Zara just happens to be one of my favorite go-to destinations for looking for trends and looking for some fashion forward statement pieces as well as fall winter coats and boots like I do love their selection they have some really great basics as well I am really excited to show you my own personal picks from the Zara fall winter line so far and as you can see there are some pretty colorful pieces in there yeah it's not all neutrals guys what up tea and I will be doing a styling session as per usual you're welcome but yeah this is just my own personal take on how I would style the clothes it doesn't mean that my style is gonna be everyone's cup of tea get it cup of tea me but if you are not into the oversize and layering then this haul and style is not for you hashtag sorry not sorry what should you expect to see from this styling session I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown you're gonna see oversized coats you're going to see a lot of turtlenecks you're gonna see some color and you're gonna see layering oh and you're gonna see a lot of two-tone outfits cuz I love my two tones so anyways, let's just get straight into the video and starting it off with, you guessed it, a neutral light beige oversized wool coat. Again, I'm not going to say anything about their quality. Y'all already know that Zara's quality is pretty A+, but I'm going to say that their coats are pretty pricey. I mean, this guy was... $219. I'm quoting Canadian prices, but I will leave US prices below. And I think US prices are going to be just a little bit lower. This is just your perfect, basic, oversized, light beige coat. It has the matching tonal belt with it, and it has like two patch pockets here in the front. There's not really much to say. This is such a me coat. I can see myself using this very, very often. Um, it is very lightweight, so perfect for fall weather. However, in the winter time, I don't think it's gonna do you much good unless you have like a really chunky sweater under here. And I'm gonna be perfectly transparent because I can't afford to keep all of these coats. So I am only going to choose maybe one or two coats from this haul to keep. So I hope that you guys can help me out. Let me know what your favorite was in the comment section down below. Which one do you think I should keep for myself? I know you guys like the styling section of this video, so I'm just going to get right to styling this guy. So the first look that I pulled together, if you guys have not watched my last H&M haul and style, I'm going to also leave that video link down below for you. So I'm going to bring that outfit back from the H&M haul and pair it together with this light beige coat because I think it's just perfect. Light beige and black look so great together. And the top that I'm wearing is a cheetah print or a Dalmatian print. Some of you guys were commenting on my video and you were giving me suggestions on what that print was called, so thank you very much. So yeah, I paired it with the Dalmatian print mock neck sheer top as well as the faux leather black pants. But I also switched up the shoes for these uh, matching beige booties that I got. It just matched so well. Like I love matching the tones in the outfits. I'm trying to keep things relatively simple since the top is more of a standout piece. And that last accessory that I threw on, the black bucket bag, stands out from the light beige coat. So it's a, it gives it a really nice contrast. I created a second outfit to this beige coat because why not? It literally goes with everything. So I'm just pulling all of the new pieces that I got from the H&M haul and I'm bringing back that uh, camel faux leather jacket that I love so much and I'm just layering. 
that's all I'm doing. So I have that black turtleneck, black jeans, black booties, and then I put on the camel faux leather jacket, and then that last extra layer with the light beige coat. I think this is a gorgeous fall layered look. It has all of your favorite fall tones in there. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, look who's got a color. <laughs> so in my last coat haul, I was saying that I love blues and I've been purchasing a lot of blues lately. Not just navy blues, I've been looking at blues like this as well. I mean, this is a freaking gorgeous blue. What do you guys think? I think this is called cerulean blue, right? Am I right? I don't know. The only reason how I know cerulean is through Devil Wears Prada. The coat has the two button enclosures at the front. It has two pockets on the side. It is oversized. It is a wool blend. It is lightweight. Again, great for fall. Not so much for the winter time if you want to just wear this coat alone. Um, expensive, $199. This is a gorgeous coat. I don't have anything like this in my coat closet. Should I keep this guy? I don't know. Let's go to the styling uh, portion of this and you guys can let me know whether you think it's worth it for me to keep him or not. Because the coat is so colorful, I just wanted to tone everything down and keep the outfit underneath very neutral. So I brought back, again, one of the outfits from the H&M haul and it is my favorite beige outfit from there. I mean, it's just so me. I'm wearing the sweater right now but that outfit under this. And I matched it with a Gucci purse that I had, which is also the same beige that is going on in the outfit underneath the blue coat. And you know your girl had to keep it casual with a pair of white kicks, cause you know I love to be comfortable. What do you guys think of this outfit? Is it enough to keep the coat? Let's keep the conversation going, guys. I did do a second outfit to this. So what I did is another two-tone outfit. And instead of beige, I switched out for an all white look underneath. And then I threw on a wide black belt because I wanted to accent my waist, but it's also like another statement color to add in to this blue and white outfit. So you have the blue, the white, and then this black belt that kind of just stands out. And the outfit looks already really sophisticated, but I kept things casual with the white sneakers. Now, if you wanted to look more elegant and sophisticated, then definitely would have just put on some white heels or even black heels because black heels go with the black belt. This outfit is pretty bomb. I love blue and white together. And since we are talking about white, let's just talk about the next coat in the haul. <sighs> This is a coat love, I think for me, because I love white in general. So this gorgeous Lux belted winter white wool blend coat has the flappy collar here, as well as the matching tonal belt and two front pockets. And it is freaking gorgeous. I love this coat too. It's gonna be so hard to decide which coat I'm going to pick to stay with me. I don't know. It, it's just too hard. And this coat was $219. I also forgot to mention, I am a size small. So if you guys were wondering what size I get in coats, size small. So yes, this is a little bit on the higher end of the price spectrum, but it is a freaking gorgeous coat. These are one of those very dressy looking coats, but you could still dress it down very easily. And that's what I did with my street style vibes. The first two tone outfit that I put together is just a very basic black and white one. You got your black turtleneck, your black belt, your black heel patent booties, which makes it still feel a little dressier. And then the black bucket bag. I like this outfit a lot because it's clean and simple, but it still stands out because it is a killer black and white street look. And for my next two-tone outfit, y'all know that I had to match it with the browns because brown and white look freaking sick together. I didn't even know, but I had so many matching of the same brown. So I had the brown turtleneck. I even had the matching brown belt and matching brown booties, matching brown bag. I mean, 
you can't get any better than this two-tonal outfit. It's just sick. If I were to choose between the black and white outfit and this brown and white outfit, I would choose the brown and white because this screams more fall, don't you guys think? I mean, leave me your thoughts, let me know. Black and white outfit, brown and white outfit. I'm switching it up between neutral coats and then colored coats. So the next coat I'm gonna show you is a colorful one. It's a very bright red, menswear inspired double breasted wool blend coat um, with the two front buttons, two pockets in the front as well. Um, no tie though, just a double breasted coat. So this guy, is 199 size small. Usually I go for more rustic reds and even darker reds like maroon and burgundy. I don't own a bright red coat, but I don't really see myself wearing a bright red coat that often, which is probably why it's going back. At some point I got really lazy and tired and I didn't feel like styling the coat, hence the one outfit. I played with different shades of brown for this outfit. So again, it is another two-tone kind of outfit, but not like matching two tones. So they're the different shades of like light brown to dark brown. I think it's a fun, very vibrant color block outfit. It's not normally something that I would wear, but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing something a little bit different and a little bit more colorful. So there you go. The next one I'm gonna show you is more of a jacket blazer and technically it is a color because it is pink, but it is more neutral because it's very muted and toned down. So this is a soft pink double breasted jacket blazer and the blazer is quite long. I mean, you could even use this as a blazer dress if you wanted to. This guy was $119, size small. This is really nice and thick. So if you're going to be using this in the fall, it is fall weather appropriate. But I do feel like maybe I could have gone for an extra small because I do think it fits quite large. So I did two looks for this, one with a closed jacket and then the other one with an open jacket. So the first look I'm gonna show you, I cinched in my waist with a belt and it is a tan belt this time, not a black belt, but I kept underneath all white. I think this is another great sophisticated kind of luxe look and I matched it with these neutral booties that I have. They have this like pinkish undertone which I thought was pretty perfect with this pink blazer. So you have a mixture of feminine and masculine in this look. So feminine being the all white underneath with the wide trousers and then you have this masculine a blush pink jacket blazer. And the second look that I put together with this jacket blazer, another two-tone outfit. I love gray and pink together. I have this like picture on Instagram which went pretty viral and it was just matching pink and gray together. And then I also had like the pink and gray Adidas sneakers and everyone just kind of went crazy for that outfit. So from then on, I kind of matched pink and gray a lot. So that's what I did with this outfit. I matched all charcoal kind of gray underneath and then I had my uh, croc effect booty which is like a grayish tone as well. And then I matched it with the blush pink menswear blazer but I kept the blazer open. I just wanted to have a more like relaxed feel in my outfit and yeah, that's pretty much it. We are almost done. I have two more coats to show you and let's go with another color. So here is a sage green. Yeah, I said it, sage green, but it kind of looks minty green here on camera. Trench coat and it is double breasted. It has the matching tonal belt. It is a size small. It was $139. When I first saw this on Zara, it didn't look like this color. It looked more of like a bluish gray. I don't mind the sage green. I think it's a fantastic neutral kind of green, but I think this coat is going back because I'm not really fond of the way the coat looks when I just leave it open. It's a little too oversized and boxy, but I do love the buckle detail on the arms. I think that's a really nice, um, unique characteristic to the coat. I teamed this with a green rib knitted top that I have, and I thought that it was perfect to 
match with his coat. And then I matched it with a whole bunch of other neutrals. So I have the black jeans, but I love the accent of the tan bag with my tan booties. I think this outfit has a lot of personality. Another really fun, casual, yet stylish outfit for the fall. Yeah, last item of the haul. Y'all ready for this? All right, let's just get to it. It is this gorgeous white belted blazer. So here's the belt. It is a silver buckle belt. And then with the two lapels and it has shoulder pads, so it does have some structure. The thing about this coat for me is that the arms, I feel is an awkward wide kind of arm. So I think this one is gonna go back. But I do love the look of this blazer. I think it is a bomb, diggity bomb.com blazer if you can pull it off. I don't know, can I pull it off? We'll see. <laughs> this guy, the sizing is extra small, small. So for an extra small, small, it's pretty damn oversized. But the price is pretty fair. It's 119 Canadian dollars. I thought it was more expensive. Uh, wow, 119. That is a pretty good price for this blazer because it's a very well made blazer. Maybe I'll keep it. Ooh, so hard, so hard. The first look that I pulled together with this blazer is a little bit sexy. I wanted to style this differently in a way that I would never kind of go out the door with but it's certainly for a particular type of woman. So I styled it with uh, some neutrals, obviously. I styled it with a brown turtleneck and I styled it as a blazer dress. And then I put on some thigh high camel booties that I also have to match the turtleneck. I was really happy that the booties and the turtleneck matched perfectly together. And I kept it very dressed up with this geometric black clutch that I have with the gold hardware. I had got it from Zara a really long time ago, so you won't be able to find it unfortunately, but that clutch teamed with this outfit looks so cool. I don't know, what do you guys think of this outfit? Too sexy for you? Too sexy for me? I realized towards the end of styling these pieces that I never styled anything with a dress or a skirt. So for this last look, I am styling it with a white skirt. And I styled it as basically an all white outfit, but then I accented it with the black patent booties and the black geometric clutch. If you're looking for a fancy event outfit, this outfit's pretty damn fancy. Before you guys leave, don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which coat you think that I should keep. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show you guys more coats in the future, so don't be surprised if you see more coming up. I have a lot of hauls that I'm trying to get through within this month. So I'm trying to upload faster, more videos. But if you guys wanna keep yourselves updated, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, hit that red button down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up because your girl works so hard on creating these videos for you. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, for taking the time to comment and like my video and for all of the support that you have been giving me. You guys are so freaking amazing. I love you guys so much. So keep the positive vibes coming. I love you guys so much. Much, and I hope to see you guys on the next. Bye!